Hi guys, this is the Java series. Now let's discuss about how to get the information about the file using the file inbuilt class. Okay, first I import file class. F must be capital and this is my class name test to file info inside this class I have created the main method now I create the object for file class new is the keyword to create the memory for a f object during the execution of the program and file parameter constructor inside the round brackets I pass the path of the file text to file now I use the while loop inside the file object we have the exist method okay so now I use the object for file class to call that method f object dot exist method okay so this method returns boolean value if it returns true this file is exist inside the d drive if it returns false, this file is not present inside the D drive. Okay. So now, system dot out dot println the file name. Concoordination symbol my object name f o b j dot get name method okay likewise I copy this statement print absolute path of the given specified file I use the get absolute path okay this is the inbuilt method that is present inside the file class this method returns the absolute path of the specified file okay and then writable is this writable or not how can I check inside the file class we have the can write inbuilt method with the help of that method we can check whether this file is writable or not okay so what method can write method okay and I want to check whether the specified file is readable or not okay so what can I do we have the method what method can read method is present inside of the file class so we can use that method okay can read so this method returns boolean value again it returns true if the specified file is readable okay and I change the output statement and the size of the file how can I get using the length method okay 
this is also the inbuilt method that is present inside the file class okay this method returns the byte size of the specified file okay and if the specified file is not present the exist method return the false at the time the control comes here else block okay so the file does not exist okay so if we want to know the file information we can use the file class okay inside the file class we have so many inbuilt methods from that methods we can use okay whatever we need here i have used the get name method get absolute path can write can read and length okay get name method returns the name of the specified file get absolute path returns the path of the specified file can write method returns boolean it returns true if the specified file is writable okay it returns false if the specified file is not writable okay likewise can read method returns boolean it returns true if the specified file is readable okay if it returns false means the specified file is not a readable one okay length returns the byte size of the given specified file got it okay here we have the error message okay here i have to give the if not while okay decision making statement only we have to implement here so if it returns false only the control comes here and the else block will be executed okay first i have to say now let me execute the program get name returns ab dot text to file and get absolute path returns the path of the file d drive ab text and can write method returns true we can write and can read method returns true so we can read and the length of the given file is 35 okay this is the byte size got it okay you go and check so what content inside the ab text inside the d drive ab good morning welcome to my home this is my content okay so we got 35 this is the size of the file okay now let's discuss about how to create the file using the inbuilt class file that is present inside the java.io package okay first i have to import the file class import java. io file f must be capital okay file is the name of the class that is present inside the java.io package and i have to import one more inbuilt class okay so that is io exception inbuilt class okay and this is my class this class is inside this package and i have created the main method now i have to create a new file using this file class okay what i will do first i have to create the object for this file class okay file f object this is the name of the object for file class and a new keyword and parameterized constructor for file class inside the round brackets i have to pass the parameter the parameter is nothing but the name of the file okay inside the double quotes i have to give the path of the file okay grapes dot text to file 
okay and i have to implement the exception handling in order to avoid the runtime errors okay in order to maintain the execution flow of the program okay so what i will do i have to use the try catch block okay so try and catch inside the round brackets now i pass the i o exception in built class okay and i have to give the name of the variable so inside the try block now i have to place the suspicious code okay here i have used the decision making statement if okay and the object name for file class is f object dot create new file okay this is the inbuilt method this method is present inside the file class okay so this create new file method returns the boolean value if the file is created means this method returns true okay if this file is not created it returns false okay so now if the file is created successfully means what is the message system dot out dot rental and the created file and coordination symbol plus and the name of the object f object dot get name method okay so this is the inbuilt method this is used to to return the name of the file okay and the end of the statement is semicolon okay if this method returns false means the else block will be executed okay system dot out dot println the given file is already exist okay this is only the output statement we should give the semicolon at the end of the line okay and if any input output error is occurred means what will happen this catch block is responsible to handle the raised error okay so this is the inbuilt exception class this is the variable for this exception class okay so the inbuilt error message will be stored inside the variable ie that will be printed on our console using the println method so the variable name i got it so inside the java.io package we have the file class inside this file class we have the create new file and get name inbuilt methods this create new file returns the boolean value it returns true when this file is created successfully okay it returns false file is already present okay so here this inbuilt method is used to to return the name of the created file okay so now let me execute this one here the created file grapes okay now again if i execute the same means what we will get actually this is now only created so if i execute the same again means what we will get the else block only will be executed isn't it the given file is already exist 
okay so if i execute the same program again means we got so the given file is already exist got it if there is any error is occurred means this catch block will be executed okay i hope you all understood about the execution flow of this program now let's discuss about how to read the content from the specified file using the file inbuilt class in the last session we have discussed about how to create a file using the file inbuilt class isn't it now with the help of the scanner class we can read the content from the specified file first i import file class file not found exception class this is one of the inbuilt exception class next scanner class that is present inside the utility package okay and this is my class name test file read okay so inside this class i have created the main method now i am going to implement the exception handling by try and catch block so inside the round brackets i gave the file not found exception inbuilt class and the variable for this class whatever we want we give here i give fe okay so now inside the try block first i create the object for file class okay file is the name of the class that is present inside the java.io package now i give the object name for file class my object okay and a new keyword this is used to create the memory for this object during the execution of the program and the parameterized constructor for file class and inside the round brackets we have to mention the path of the file okay inside the double quotes d drive backslashes and ab this is my text to file name and end of the statement semicolon okay and i create the object for scanner okay scanner is the name of the class and my reader this is my object for scanner class and a new keyword scanner inside the round brackets i pass the my object that is the object for file class okay i use the while loop okay with the help of the while loop i try to read the content from the specified file okay so this object holds the address for this file here i have passed the object into the scanner class okay now i am going to implement the while loop to read the content okay while inside the round brackets we have to give the expression isn't it so here my reader dot has next line okay so what is the role of this inbuilt method this method 
checks whether the next line is present inside the specified file or not okay if the line is present means it returns the true boolean value if there is no line is present means it returns the false boolean value okay so inside this my reader object we have passed the my object this is the object for file class inside this object we have this file is it so this method whether the content is present inside the specified file or not okay if it returns true the content is present if there is no content inside this file means this method returns the false got it okay and inside the while block first i create the string object string content okay and um, here my reader this is the object for the scanner class okay next line this is one of the inbuilt method that is also present inside the scanner class so here i have used the has next line inbuilt method that is also present inside the scanner class and the next line this is also one of the inbuilt methods that is also present inside the scanner class okay so this method returns what this method returns the line from the specified file okay so that string will be stored inside this variable okay content its data type is string okay so next line returns the string data type okay and using the println method now i try to print the content on my console okay and this process is going on till this inbuilt method returns false that means if there is no content is present means this method returns false if it returns false means the while loop will be terminated okay so all the content from the specified file will be printed on our console using this next line inbuilt method this method is used to, to check whether the content is present inside the ab text file okay this method is used to, to return the string okay from the specified file okay and we have to close the scanner object in order to avoid the corruption of the opened file okay so my reader is the object for scanner class and close if any error is occurred inside the try block means catch block only responsible to handle the error which is raised inside the try block the inbuilt error message will be stored inside this variable okay now that value will be printed on our console using the println method f e that's it i hope you all understood about the execution flow of this program okay let me execute this one so this is our output using the scanner class we can read the content from the specified file go to the file and open inside the d drive ab so this is our content okay so i got this content so inside the main method i have created the object for file inbuilt class and parameterized constructor i have used so inside the round brackets i have passed the 
path of the file. I have used the scanner class. This is the object for scanner and uh, I have used the scanner parameterized to constructor. Okay, inside the round brackets I passed the object for file class and I have used the has next line inbuilt method that is present inside the scanner class which is used to check whether the content is present inside the specified file or not. Okay, if it returns true means the control comes inside the while loop and this is the variable. Here I have used the next line inbuilt method. This is also present inside the scanner class. Okay, so what is the role of the next line inbuilt method? This is used to, to read the line from the specified file that will be stored inside the content that will be printed on our console. And when this has next line inbuilt method returns false, the while loop will be terminated. After then, the scanner class will be closed using the close method. Okay, here we have used the inbuilt exception class. If any error is raised inside the try block, this will be used to, to handle the error. Okay, and uh, the error message will be printed using the println method. Okay, so we got this output from this AB text file. Okay, now let's discuss about how to write the content in the file using the file writer class. Okay, first I import the file writer class that is present inside the java.io package. F must be capital, W must be capital okay and I import input output exception to handle the errors okay and this is my class test to file write inside this class I have created the main method now I implement the exception handling using the try and catch block so inside the round brackets I pass the input output exception and the name of the variable whatever we want we give here I give IE now I create the object for file writer class. Okay. File writer is the name of the class and FW is the name of the object for file writer class and new is the keyword that is used to create the memory for FW object during the execution of the program and parameterized constructor for file writer class. Inside the round brackets we have to pass the path of the file. Inside the D drive backslashes text to file. AB is my text to file. Now I try to write the content inside this file only using the file writer class. Okay. And Inside this file writer class, we have the write inbuilt method. Okay. With the help of that write method only, now we can write the content inside this AB text file. Okay. So, I use the object for file writer class to call the write method. Okay. And uh, here, Inside this round brackets, we pass the content inside the quotes. Welcome to my home. Always be happy. Okay. So, this is the content. Whatever we want, we give. So, this content will be stored inside the AB text file using this write method that is present inside the file writer class. Okay. 
that's why i have used the object for this class okay we have to close the object for file writer class in order to avoid the corruption of the opened file okay so fw is the object for file writer class and using the close method we can close the opened file okay system dot out dot println successfully updated this is for our output message okay if any error is raised inside the try block means this catch block is responsible to handle that error okay so this inbuilt exception class is used to handle the error that is raised inside the try block okay and here system dot out dot print ln i e okay this is the variable for this i o exception class so the inbuilt exception message will be stored that will be printed with the help of the print ln method okay so i repeat it again this is my file okay ab is my text to file this file is present inside the d drive and i want to write the content inside this text to file how is it possible with the help of the file writer class okay this file writer class is present inside the java.io package okay and inside the file writer class we have the write inbuilt method with the help of this inbuilt method only we can write the content inside this specified file okay and after then we have to close the file writer object in order to avoid the corruption of the opened file okay and this is only the output statement this catch is responsible to handle the error that is raised inside the try block okay so here this is the name of the variable the inbuilt error message will be stored inside this variable that will be printed on our console using the println method i hope you all understood about the execution flow of this program first we have to save this file now let me execute this one so we got successfully updated okay open the file that is present inside the d drive okay what is the name of the file ab this is the file here welcome to my home always be happy okay now i change this content god is always with us this is my new content after save i execute the same we got successfully updated now open that file again ab is the name of the file so god is always with us so if we want to write the content inside the specified file we can use the file writer class okay this is present inside the java.io package and inside the file writer class we have the write inbuilt method using this inbuilt method we can write the content inside the specified file now let's discuss about how to delete the specified file using the inbuilt file class we know already the inbuilt file class is present inside the java.io package okay now i import the file class java dot io dot file and i have created the class test to file del and inside this class i have created the main method okay now i create the object for this file class okay file is the inbuilt class my object is my object for this class okay and the new is the keyword and now i use the 
parameterized constructor for file class. Inside the round brackets, I pass the path of the file. AB text to file. Okay, now I am going to implement the decision making statement. If and my object, this is the object name for file class dot operator, and inside the file class we have the delete method. Okay, using that delete method only now we are going to delete the specified file ok now I use the delete method ok if the specified file is deleted successfully means the if block will be executed system dot out dot println the name of the file object dot get name method we know this method is used to return the file name isn't it and the concordination symbol inside the quotes is deleted successfully okay and the else block. If the specified file is not deleted, it means the else block will be executed. System dot out dot println failed to delete. This is only the output message. Okay. First, I have to save. First, I open this file. AB text file. Open inside the D drive. AB file. Just to open it. So, this is the content. Okay. So, this file is present inside the D drive. Isn't it? Okay. Now, let me execute this program. A B text is deleted successfully. Okay, here give the space. Okay, so this file is deleted. Okay, let me check. I try to open the A B text file. Now only I have opened. Okay, this A B file is present inside the D drive. Now I check inside the D drive. See, there is no ab file okay so this file is deleted now only okay so if we want to delete the file we can use the delete method that is present inside the file class this file class is present inside the java.io package okay if the specified file is deleted means the if block will be executed Okay, the specified file is not deleted. What will happen? The else block will be executed. Okay, let me execute the same again. Failed to delete because this file is not present now, isn't it? That's why we got this output. Is it clear? Okay. We have completed this session. If you have any doubts, drop the message in the comment section. If this video is useful to you, like and share. For more videos, subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon, then only you will get the notification for my new updates. Have a nice day. Thank you.